So Mr. Mark Zuckerberg drops this out of the blue. Every day is a like day with Meta's new movie gen AI model that can create and edit videos coming to Instagram next year. You can tell this is AI generated because he has like eight plates on there. I'm kidding. I'm actually liking this guy more and more. And this movie gen thing they are releasing looks pretty good. You, of course, have your text to video, much like every other model. The quality looks good. Maybe it's not the best one available right now, but the competition is heating up. We have Runway ML, Pika Labs, the Chinese model Kling, as well as the mythical Sora model from OpenAI, rumored to be still in development. So out of the gate, I think it's fair to say that Meta might be one generation behind the leaders, but I would not be surprised if they moved fast and uh, made this one much better. Keep in mind, Meta has a lot of compute. They have the technology, the GPUs, and I think Zuck is on a warpath right now, and I think he's willing to do anything it takes to take a bite out of Apple, and AI will play a role in that. So let's come back to the plain vanilla text to video in a second. Again, it's good, maybe not top of the line, but very, very solid. The other features, however, are going to be the focus of the story. So the second capability is you can upload an image of yourself and transform it into a personalized video. So when they're saying personalized video, this is what they're referring to. MovieGen's cutting edge model lets you create personalized videos that preserve human identity and motion. So this allows you to take pictures and place yourself into whatever situation you can imagine, creating a video of you doing that thing. Now, I'm sure you know this, but Meta owns Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Oculus, among others. So that's three or four billion users that are gonna be trying this out, producing tons of footage, helping improve the model, selecting their preferred outputs, etc. They do have a big scale advantage here. And Meta is saying that they want both Hollywood movie makers and online creators to use this technology to, quote, usher in a new AI-enabled era for content creators. Next up, we have this. So this is the third feature that they're rolling out. Edit video with text. Transform existing videos with text inputs. MovieGen enables precise video editing from styles and transitions to fine-grained edits. So here's an original video of a girl wearing an Oculus Rift, basically a VR headset on her head. If we say with a text input, change the VR headset to binoculars, that changes this to some sort of a uh, cyberpunk binocular sort of thing. I mean, yeah, nailed it. Next, we have remove the VR headset, and it does. It puts the eyes on the girl and has kind of the hair is a little bit weird, but I mean, it's looking good, surprisingly good. It actually removed the thing and was able to render her eyes on there. And the fourth one is just add bubbles and a futuristic effect. And I mean, yeah, that looks pretty good. Here's one of the original videos, a person kind of like working out, getting warmed up. We're able to add fire sparklers to his hands, change the sky to northern lights, or put the background to an outdoor stadium. I gotta say, this looks very good. I mean, if you look at the original on this one, I mean, both look very, very real. We're able to take a dog, add a pink onesie with ears, or put him in a royal garden, or change the poodle's color to blue. Now, keep in mind, a few months ago, Meta released their paper on SAM2, segment anything model, kind of like the second iteration. We did a little video on it. We kind of played around with it. And it's really good at segmenting whatever object it is. So for example, in this case, you notice how this dog is perfectly selected, right? The, the, the model doesn't confuse him with the background. So it just paints him to be this kind of bluish color. And that's why I think the generations are so good. It's able to, you know, cut out the background and put them in this French castle or whatever this was, or add this pink hat and onesie on it with such precision. It's hard to tell that this isn't, you know, part of the original video, that it's not an actual pink of onesie on the dog. Here's another one. So two people watching videos in a movie theater, right? Next one, we make them wear 3D glasses. That's very, very solid. Uh, they got the reflection on the glasses, pretty cool. We can change the background to a carnival. Again, very, very good. I mean, 
seems very, very good. You can't tell that it's not real. Or you can add pouring rain. So kind of the, oh, not just the background, but also in front of them, you can see the rain and maybe even some lightning at some point. We're able to take a penguin, give them Victorian outfits. That is phenomenal. Add beach umbrellas and beach beds in the background or change the style to a pencil sketch. Here's one where we can add somebody running. We can add pom-poms to his hands or run them through the cactus field or just turn them into a dinosaur. I can sense now that putting little animals in various outfits will be a massive, massive viral hit. Just expect that trend to take shape soon. And then the fourth feature that they're talking about is to create sound effects and soundtracks. So use video and text inputs to generate audio for your videos. MovieGen allows you to create and extend sound effects, background music, or entire soundtracks. There's just a couple examples here, so let's quickly take a look, or take a listen, rather. So I haven't had a chance to read the full paper behind this model quite yet, but it does sound like they're using that SAM2 model to actually in part train this model. So it looks like they're using SAM2 segment anything model to extract the segmentation mask for the object in the video. So they painted a different color colors like this pink here, for example. And it looks like that's how they create the data set for training the model, right? So they have kind of the original video, then the instruction to mark a specific object in a certain color, right? So mark the person on the right here, mask the boy in pink. So mark, mask this boy on the right in pink. So it's original, the instructions, and then the masked version with, you know, the, the corresponding person in pink. And that then is used to fine tune the model. Now we're able to turn the boy into an inflatable cat and back as well. Now, since the SAM2 model is open source, I assume what this means is that very quickly, all the other AI video companies will be using it to create similar data sets and adding this functionality to their very own models. Because I got to say, I was very impressed with that segment anything to demo. So here's an example of it. So for example, let's select, we want to select the letter U. So notice here, it kind of like tells you what you've selected and you can add or remove more stuff. So if I wanted to add, I can select the, the whole sort of this side of the block or the entire block. But for the time being, let's just actually select the U. So we just selected the, the U color and now we're going to click track objects and notice that it's able to keep it uh, tracked as the whole thing moves around. Even when it's occluded, even when it gets covered up by the hand, it still knows where it is. And you can do this for pretty much any object. Here, for example, I'm gonna select this thing in the dog's mouth, is that a ball or whatever it is? Click track objects. And now, as you can see, the thing tracks it. There it is. So no matter where it goes, it's able to track it on screen. So I'm very excited to see where they take it, because if you combine kind of all those four modalities, you can see the power of this thing emerge, because not only is it text to video, which is not really a new thing anymore, but it's also precision editing. It's also personalized video. And it's also the ability to create whatever sounds or soundtracks that you want for your video. I mean, that's the whole shebang, isn't it? Like that gives you so much power to create custom videos of what whatever it is that you can imagine to put yourself in that situation, add minor tweaks and edits. And I think the fact that Meta has so many users is definitely going to be a leg up in its ability to continue generating these new models, getting the feedback, you know, not to mention just the sheer amount of compute that they have. Meta just might emerge next year with the best AI video model ever. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. My name is Wes Roth. If you made this far, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and giving this a video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.